This is a medical video lecture, Microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is pathogenesis of pathogenesis of mycobacterium tuberculosis mycobacterium tuberculosis so this is a really very important topic for ESL examination and even for medical students second year medical students so let's start a discussion on this and before starting a discussion I would request you to subscribe to our channel that's all in law and please do share our videos with your friends currently we have more than 600 medical video lectures on a different topics of medicine these videos are really very helpful for US family appearing students and even for medical students nursing students and the pharmacy students so try your best to watch the videos try to share our videos with your friends do subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe so let's start a discussion on this before starting a discussion on the pathogenesis of mycobacterium tuberculosis or tuberculosis pathogenesis by MT okay mycobacterium tuberculosis I would like to brief you with the genus features of mycobacterium so they are the most important thing that you should remember about these bacteria is they are acid fast very important they are acid fast okay and they are obligate aerobes they need oxygen to survive that's why if this is a lung okay right if this is a lung the, the bacteria will come like this and they try to look for good ventilated uh, what do you call uh, room and that's why they take uh, the uppermost one that's because it's a very ventilated ventilation perfusion ratio is very good over here compared to here because here we get a lot of blood for purification is circulated over here that's why they look at this position apex of the lung that's why whenever the tuberculosis is suspected in any patients then we take a chest radiogram radiograph and we look at the apexes first okay right now let's start the other features of this one later I will discuss let me discuss here the pathogenesis the pathogenesis as you know they are faculty to intracellular organisms the three important factors you should remember about are sulfatides cord factor tuberculin so let's talk about the sulfatides 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 are sulfolipids in cell envelope okay sulfatides are sulfo lipids sulfolipids in cell envelope okay so how does it act this sulfatides inhibits the phygosome lysosome fusion phygosome lysosome fusion this phygosome lysosome is inhibited by this so once this phygosome lysosome inhibition is inhibi uh, is the fusion is inhibited then ultimately the cell is not killed the cell is not killed the bacteria survives the bacteria survives okay right the bacteria survives okay so this is how it acts if the fusion occurs the waxy nature of the cell envelope reduces the killing effect if suppose think that the, if the fusion occurs okay if the fusion occurs here then it forms a waxy layer waxy and this waxy nature of the cell envelope reduces the killing effect so it is not killed so this is how uh, what do you call the mycobacterium X okay right now let's move on to the next important factor there is a cord factor
Count factor is nothing but Trehalose di mycolate. So this is the content of this card factor. So this inhibits what you call leukocyte migration. Suppose think that there's a bacteria over here, this is the mycobacterium tuberculae. So if you want to kill this, then leukocyte has to come, right? They have to come like this. They come and migrate, they come and migrate, they engulf it, okay? Then they will take into the account and they start killing, right? This is what the normal procedure will take place in an immune person or one who has a good immune response. But the mycobacterium tuberculae, the con factor of that inhibits this one, this leukocyte migration, leukocyte migration, okay? Leukocyte migration, right guys? So this disrupts the mitochondrial respiration and oxidative phosphorylation, which are very important. So now let's talk about the tuberculin. Tuberculin is nothing but is a surface protein, okay? Along with what you call a mycolic acid, it causes delayed hypersensitivity. and CMI, that is cell mediated immunity, okay? And in examination, remember the granulomas and casation, what you call casation, mediated by CMI only. Granulomas and casation is mediated by CMI, remember. This is what tuberculin is responsible for that, right guys? So I hope you got an idea how, how the pathogenesis of mycobacterium tuberculosis acts in a tuberculosis disease okay so thank you so much for watching this video take care